Hi, my name is Lorena Sadie. I am the founder and managing attorney here at Sadie Law Group. And today I wanted to talk about um, some more detail about the bankruptcy schedules that are entailed in your packet when you file um, Chapter 13 bankruptcy. So starting off, um, we've already gone through in a, in a series of these videos I've made for consumers, we've gone over the voluntary petition, schedules A, B, um, Schedule D, and then now we're going to talk about Schedule EF. So when you're reviewing your bankruptcy documents, which can be kind of overwhelming when your attorney sends you like 60 something pages <laughs> and you're like, okay, wow, that's a lot. It's like a closing. Um, but if you break it up step by step, you'll see there is a method to our madness. So when you're reviewing your documents and you get to Section EF, this is the section where you're going to have listed your priority debts, which is less listed in Schedule E, and then your general unsecured debts, which are gonna be listed in Schedule F. Um, a long time ago, these used to be separate, and now they're called Schedule E slash F. So now it's one. But when we look at your priority debts, these are gonna be things like taxes uh, here in Georgia. Normally, it's Georgia Department of Revenue and the Internal Revenue Service, which by the way, even if you don't owe them money, um, when you file bankruptcy, typically you are still gonna see that these um, entities are given notice just in case, and it covers all basis. Um, in our court, um, they like to see that, that these, these folks are given notice, so don't panic if you see that they're listed, it's just making sure that you're protected. So typically for us, you'll just see Georgia Department of Revenue, Internal Revenue Service, and if you don't owe anything, it's just gonna say zero balance out to the side. But at least they get notice and that covers you if anybody ever comes back and says, well, you didn't notify us, you filed bankruptcy. And then there are tax issues. The other things is gonna go in these sections are if you owed property taxes. So some folks, their uh, property taxes are not escrowed into their mortgage payments. And so they may have back property taxes. So it needs to be listed here. Also, another biggie that will be listed here is child support or alimony. So if you have um, an obligation to pay child support or alimony, um, or you're paying you know, a rearage back, even if your, your obligation is ended, those debts are gonna be listed in that section. And just a note for folks that um, are paying child support or alimony, even if you are paying the state, so you, you actually send your money or the money is taken out of your paycheck and goes straight to um, Georgia Child Support Services or it could be another child support services, but it goes to another entity, you still have to list the person that is legally obligated um, to receive to receive those payments. So for most folks, um, it's going to be an ex-spouse. Sometimes it's a grandparent that maybe has custody of a child um, that are entitled to receive it. So don't don't get put off or offended when we tell you, hey, we have to have this because we have to have it, um, and the court's going to require it. And if it's not listed, you're going to get then charged a fee um, when your case comes up for approval because they're not going to approve your case unless you have you have given notice to the party that's supposed to be receiving the child support. So it's required, it's the law, we just have to deal with it and go on. So anywho, that's where, um, that's where that information would be listed. So Schedule E are gonna, is gonna be for things for priority debts. Um, now, when we get to Schedule F, Schedule F, that's what most people think about when they think of all their debts, because most of these debts are gonna be unsecured debts. So this is where you're gonna list credit cards, medical bills, collections, payday loans, um, old utility bills, um, cell phone bills, things like that, or old cell phone bills if you don't, if you don't, if you no longer want the service. So this is where all that information is going to be listed. And, and what's important to remember is when you're reviewing your, your bankruptcy documents, yes, of course you want your documents to be as accurate as possible. However, your, your balances can change on a daily basis. So <laughs> when you're reviewing your documents, you don't need to keep emailing us or whoever is your attorney saying, oh, now the balance is $10 more or $5 more or it's 85 cents more. That's really not necessary and it's really gonna annoy your attorney, so don't do that. <laughs> now, if the balance is off significantly, like by the way, I actually owe them $100,000, not $1,000, um, yeah, we need to know that, but you know, the nitpicky stuff, oh, it's $10 off or, you know, 50 cents off, something like that. You're not going to be penalized for that. 
If you are in a Chapter 7 case, um, we're just we're giving notice to these creditors. A Chapter 7 is where you are just discharging all the debt, and so they're just getting notice. So it doesn't really matter if you owe them a dollar or if you owe them a million dollars. Whatever you owe them, it's going to get wiped out in the bankruptcy in your Chapter 7. Now, when we talk about Chapter 13, um, you want to make sure that you know you know what kind of plan you're in because this is where these schedules can really come into play. So Schedule E is that's priority debt. So these are debts that you're going to have to repay. They're priority. So even though they're not secured, like we have our debt on Schedule D, which is actually secured with something that a creditor could repossess or foreclose on, like a house or a car, on Schedule E F, the, the, on Schedule E, it's priority debt. So that means that that is debt that is going to get paid. Uh, they will get paid after secured creditors, but then they're next in line. Um, the last folks that are going to get anything, if they're going to get anything, is going to be the folks that you have listed on Schedule F. So if you were in a Chapter 13 plan, you want to make sure that you're checking with your attorney to see what percentage of unsecured debt you're going to be required to repay. Um, most people, to be honest, are in what we call 0% plans where they're not repay repaying back their unsecured debt. Um, and for them, it doesn't matter if you have, you know, half a million dollars listed here, doesn't, it's not going to make a change to your payment, your monthly bankruptcy payment, because none of those folks are getting paid. However, if you're in a plan, say you're in a 100% plan, this is very vital. So, you know, you want to make sure Schedule F is, is as exact as possible because that's how your attorney is going to be able to determine what your payment has to be since you're going to be a person that's going to have to repay all of your creditors back. Um, and of course, the way creditors get paid in a Chapter 13 plan, they actually have to file a proof of claim in order to get paid. Um, and we actually have another video, I'll link to it in the description below, that goes over um, how Chapter 13 creditors actually get paid in your case. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick overview of what Schedule EF was so that when you're reviewing your documents, you understand how it fits with everything else in your bankruptcy petition. If you have any other questions, um, if you're here in Georgia and you've got some questions about Georgia bankruptcy law, please feel free to contact me directly. My information um, is in the description below um, and I'm always happy to assist.